Hello guys. It is summer in New York, 30 degrees today, and I am going to a meeting in the Upper East Side, and so I'm gonna get the subway there and walk home, so it's gonna be quite the walk, and I thought that I would start sharing the outfits that I have been wearing throughout these hot days. Today we have on a dress from St. Agni. I've gotta show you the back. How do I do this? It's got like, like an open back like this which is so nice I'm gonna get like super hot on this walk so I did want something kind of really loose but not like low cut and short so hence going something long it's got a split here which is really nice got my new favorite shoes these are some the Dot Martin George shoes um, I got mine on Matches Fashion. They are sold out in lots of places, but I will try and link them. They are so comfy with and without socks. I have my normal size. I'm obsessed, and I kind of wanted something clumpy with the dress, and I'm just, like, all of my sandals hurt in a different place. So I'm just grateful to be wearing something that's not gonna rub. Um, I unfortunately take quite a lot of stuff with me, so I'm gonna just take a tote bag. Um, this was part of the decision making. This one is just from Row. Um, got it at an event. Christy Tyler, my friend, did a collaboration with him, and I got this at her event. Obviously, it's empty right now, but I am about to fill it and then leave the house. Got my hair up. I really felt like it needed hair up to make the most of the open back and everything like that. Um, and yeah, off we go to the Upper East Side. Oh, I'm gonna take some sunglasses too. Sunglasses. I'm either gonna go classic black Wayfarer style ones from Cutler and Gross, or where have I put them? They're over here. They're in the kitchen, of course. Why not? Why would I keep them anywhere else? Another pair from Cutler and Gross. This really light pair. Oh. I think the black ones for today. I think we keep it chic, minimal, cohesive, and I'm just gonna fill up my tote bag and then off we go. Right, AirPods charged, wallet, water bottle, sunglasses case, my book for the subway. Altoids, pre-meeting, keys, uh, wallet, book, phone, phone's in the room, phone, check, and we're good to go. It's a shame about the tote bag, but you just can't beat the practicality of them. Off we go into the heat. Hey guys, another day, another outfit. It's also very warm today. Um, just edging back into the kitchen. Another all black look. Did I wear all black yesterday? I did. Having a phase. This shirt is new. Ooh, it's from Rebecca Taylor. It's like, it's not, is it linen? It's kind of quite thick actually. It's beautiful. 53% um, linen, 55% viscous. Uh, just a really nice fit to it and then if you all didn't know I went to Oregon last week and went on a hike so now I almost exclusively wear Patagonia it's a lifestyle not a choice and it chose me uh, so I've got the Patagonia baggies on here these are the five inch ones um, and then once again the Doc Martens because they're just so comfy not not the kind of reputation Doc Martens have is it being comfy from the get-go and then we're gonna go with the Celine Romy bag and my lighter shade cut and gross sunglasses. I really like this outfit. Something that lots of people do really, really well here and I am very inspired by is mixing like leisure, athleisure I suppose, with there like with more elevated pieces often like really like fancy tops with some Nike running shorts or something um we see lots of like girls wearing that and I'm really really into it so this was my take on that kind of a more minimal one of course because it is I and then with a really masculine shoe 
as opposed to a trainer. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it. I'm going to show you in the in the mirror in the bedroom as well, just because I think maybe you can see a bit better in here. Is this any better? Anyway, tiny little Patagonia logo. I also have them in blue, but I wanted to go with all black today with the tan bag. This definitely isn't better lighting in here because it's so backlit. Um, off I go, out and about. Okay guys, trying to um, decide what to wear for the evening. I thought that I would vlog the process. First option, these are from Philippa K. Both these pieces have been sent to me actually. Some blue silk shorts. I like them so much. I've been wearing them quite a lot because they're so good for like an evening where you want to be a bit smart but um, still really loose and I, I like the humidity here. I'm not even in the height of summer here and it's just something else. So you really want loose fitting clothes all the time. And then this shirt is also new and also sent to me from Rebecca Taylor. Um, it's a really, really cool length. Really nice. I've rolled the sleeves up in anticipation of being quite warm. Um, I actually am liking this the more I look at it. There's no iron here. Well, not the iron anyway, who am I kidding? Um, but yeah, option one is this. Decisions, decisions. Guys, this skirt was such a bad purchase. I bought this online um, before I even got here and had it sent here. And I honestly like don't know what I was thinking when I did that. It's for a brand called I Am Muse, and they do have some really nice bits, like they're all kind of quite going outy, sexy kind of bits. Maybe I thought it was gonna be going out all the time here. I don't mind it as much when I'm looking in the viewfinder, but like, it's still got the tags on it. I'm just thinking maybe I don't take, the, I can't take it back now, it's way past the returns, but don't, just don't take the tags off. Oh, I don't know. It's got this like button, fastening it just feels slightly too tight and like it's gaping here and these extra buttons on it it's a really heavy fabric and then with this really extreme slit the back i'm struggling to show i have to show you in the mirror actually i just don't am i like ever gonna wear this is it awful i don't know what i was thinking when i ordered this and i hate that feeling when you've made a bad order that's the length of it. Like I like the split in it and everything. It just, it's like there's like too much fabric here a little bit. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll try some shoes on with it. I could, if I'm stood like that, I don't hate it, but I don't walk around stood like that all the time, obviously. Most of the time I've probably stood really awkwardly. <laughs> okay, back in the shirt which I, oh, I maybe flashed you then. Just got one button done up, so it's very loosey loosey. Then these really good fitting trousers, which are from Holes Viola. I don't know if they're still gonna be in stock. I got them a while ago. And then my Marni sandals. I might just take my little Prada, little Prada baby, to have a white bag with this. And kind of would love to, wear jeans tonight but I just think these are like a wool mixed trouser but I actually think jeans are going to be hotter. Am I going to be too hot in these? Quite possibly. Hard to know in this city but the shirt's definitely been the winning piece. I might tie my hair up as well. Do I want hair up? No. It makes it look too officey and worky. Hair back down. Oh do I want to put different trousers on with this? I'm running late. I'm permanently running late because this is what I do. Faff. Oh, oh, why is the light so weird? I made a last minute change. I actually did prefer how they looked, but I just felt a little bit too like work wearish. Um, oh, which I'm annoyed at myself because I think it looked really nice. I'm being a wimp and going for something way more casual and familiar. Anyway, I just put on some vintage Levi's and oh my gosh, I always forget the brand of these shoes. Mariam, Mariam Nasir Zada, Zada, oh, they've got a shop on the Lower East Side, it's great. Um, I love these sandals so much. And so yeah, overall, it's got more of like a 90s vibe to it now. Take my little Prada, 
Cleo bag and yeah sorry I've chickened out of what was I actually think a really flattering outfit and this is less flattering but I for some reason feel more comfortable and I apologize to you all I feel like I'm letting you down hello guys it is 30 degrees in New York today hotter in fact I think it's going to 33 which feels like the centre of the sun itself so we've got on a very loose fitting wonderfully beautiful slip dress tiny bit lower cut than I would like I think I might get the straps short and just so it was to like there maybe it would be a bit more flattering but also you know what who cares and um, they still feel great in it it's from Ray um, it's a long slip dress with an asymmetric hem I've got on some sandals from Cos these are unbelievably comfortable they are so so comfy um, and that is literally it hair up headphones on we are going like this nothing else because it's too hot for anymore so kind of boring to talk through but really beautiful dress really recommend it for a summer one and it's just like the right amount of slinkiness as well and it's very flattering off we go good morning guys I have on the most casual outfit ever I'm just going for a walk in Central Park um, it's Sunday so it feels like a really good Sunday outfit I'll have to get my sunglasses so you can really see the final thing t-shirt from Everlane had it for years really 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 good black t-shirt jeans are vintage Levi's these were men's ones I bought off eBay probably about six years ago and have tailored then I've got on my Tava sandals which I actually haven't ended up wearing as much as I thought I would um, and then every time I put them on I'm like oh damn these are comfortable why am I not wearing them more often do I have those on today sunglasses for today are going to be these from uh, Linda Farrow that was sent to me they are too big unfortunately but I caved and I bought some new over-the-ear headphones which I told myself I wasn't allowed to have because I lost mine in a taxi when I got here a couple of months ago you guys might remember I was so annoyed but I have just missed over the head headphones so 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 much um, so I thought I just need to be more of a responsible adult and not lose things in my defense I don't lose things very often that was a particularly annoying one um, anyway I caved and got the Apple AirPod Pro Max in the darker color it was just too influenced by TikTok if I'm honest with it um, but yeah they're great they are so so comfy I know that people seem to be really enjoying being negative about them but um, I love them they're really comfy and the sound I don't have the Bose ones to compare literally in the moment but from memory the sound is just as good so I don't know why everyone really is enjoying hating on these so much but um, I like them so and then my coach bag I love this bag so much with just a basic outfit because it adds some colour in and just brightens everything up a bit um, I'm gonna go get my coffee and then I'm gonna jump on the subway go to Central Park and have my walk the only thing I don't like about overhead headphones is it's really hard to have sunglasses on as well and then when I have these sunglasses on I think it looks like really 90s which is kind of what everyone is going for at the moment anyway aren't they so off we go okay guys ending with possibly my favorite look of the video I had to go in your shorts in blue same with the black ones just blue vintage men's uh, blue shirt the sandals from the brand I can't remember or pronounce they'll be linked I'm going to take the coach bag for a little bit of colour. I did consider it crossbody because it comes with a crossbody strap bag. It's kind of a bit, you know, crossbody with a shirt can be a bit messy. Although I am kind of tempted, I might put the strap on. So I've got the option. And Cutler and Gross classic sunglasses. These ones. And we're good to go. I love this outfit. I think I've done a really good job. I would ideally have the shirt a bit longer and untucked, but it's too long to wear untucked because then it doesn't look like I've got any bottoms on, um, which would also be fine, but I don't know. Weirdly like the Patagonia label and then this label from the shirt all meeting up there. Um, so yes, I'm gonna end this video here um, and say to you all, thank you so much for watching. Say once again, that links for everything 
will be in the description box. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.